So, do you speak English? A little bit. Little bit? Okay. Um, is it just this? No, no? Uh, this. Uh, sorry, but uh, English uh, oh, menu okay. is next week. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, don't worry. this. Oh, okay. Drink. Uh, what's the orange drink? Uh -huh. uh, this one? Limonade. Yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> what's um, traditional Hungarian food? What's, Hungarian? Yeah, yeah, what's like the normal mm. traditional Hungarian? Bugatti soup. Yeah. Bugatti. Uh, yeah. Goulash. Okay. With beans. Add uh, this for uh, pork. Bechar. Bechar this. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll try the betcha. Betcha, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, uh, roast potato is okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's nice to reach a part of the world where my hard-earned British pounds can start throwing their weight around. I can just order a second fizzy orange without any second thought. But um, I think that is it for um, this place. And I'm off to Zabadzalas, about an hour's drive away. Right, I'm going to try and find my way into this national park now because um, this is just a farm. Well, this road cuts right through the national park, so we're in it now. And um, I looked on the website and it said, well, the visitor centre is 40 miles away in another, in another town. So um, surely there would be a car park or something. 
Well, it's getting dark now already. I say already. I don't know what that means, but um, it's getting dark. And um, the road's really busy still. And I was hoping to duck off into a little roady area, but it doesn't matter if I get seen. No one's going to call the cops, are they? So um, let's go on safari. but it's not in view of any I'll get off try and get off the track just in case a tractor comes by at least I won't be confronted with his angry face in the morning I might get a chance to escape Well, we've got quite a bit of road noise still, but I'm in the national park at least. And um, yeah, just nice night here. Deep in the bush here, true wild camping. Very, got very loose with the chocolate spread last night. I mean, that's that's the worst it's been. That's that's half a large jar in the sitting.
had um, such a nice time at the lake the other day that I thought I'd just do something similar today. Normally I'm not very good at just sitting like a beach holiday where I just sat at the beach it all week just sounds like a nightmare to me. But um, at the lake the other day I actually just managed to lie down and chill out for the whole day. Just dipping in the water when it got hot, drying off in the sun, then repeating. It was just, just a great day. So I'm somewhere similar, I think, now. Well, this has a real beach town kind of vibe around here. Oh, it is a beach. It is a beach. A lake beach. Well, a daytime beer. If I'm parked nearby, I'm just going to go back to the car and sleep, it turns out. But a nice little resort, this one. Well, you know, back on the first night when I arrived in Hungary and I drove all the way to um, Budapest to, uh, for their national day celebrations, it was about 10 o'clock in the evening and there was this big queue for somewhere, so I joined the queue and um, it was just people queuing to get their traditional Hungarian cake and the inside was like a, a nightclub kind of atmosphere and they were all just enjoying eating cake um, with a great sincerity you know there was no pretense there was no like pint of beer and a cake it was just like no that's what they're that's what they're doing it's national day and uh, yeah just good memories of the Hungarian people good honest uh, authentic folk down here um, of, of the small bit I saw of them and uh, yeah, just a nice time in Hungary, all in all. Maybe they've got salad cream. Um, I do have 450 Hungarian forint left, which is about £1.20. So, um, let's see what we can get in Tesco. Still no vinegar crisps. Well, instead of just snacks with my 450 foreign, I decided to get dinner. So I've got a couple of baguettes and I've got some old squidgy boot cheese and I think a tomato in the back. Um, so I'm just gonna have some cheese and tomato baguettes. Well, I think I'll probably just oh, that's a oh, that's a flower bed. Um, yeah, I think I'll stay here tonight. So just uh, just get a little nicer spot here.
some Tole Grande Sagitt um, cheese tonight. As usual with cheese that's been in the boot for a while, it has released some of its oils. And that's it, my last meal in Hungary. Bit sad, isn't it? In your mid thirties, having cheese sandwiches for dinner alone in the supermarket car park in Hungary. Not for me, I like it. <laughs>